Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That because, like I said, the doctor told me, to my face, you will never play basketball again. To my face, you will never play basketball heart again. Drop. I know your heart drop. I couldn't believe what he was talking about. It's like you know how they like somebody say something and you just hear like ee. Like yeah, I don't know, you know what yeah. I mean? I, I, it's like I didn't hear you. Like, what did you just say? Oh, yeah, like Booby Miles joint. Yeah, uh, like uh, Friday night. Like, somebody's just like, and you're just. I ain't trying to hear. I don't you. hear. I don't hear what you're saying. Right, right. It's like my brain never accepted it. Right. And I believe that's a part of my like part of my comeback story, that I just my brain never accepted that like. What are you talking about? Facts. Facts. You know what I mean? And that's all it's about. Like you said, like I said, desire. What are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? I'm, I'm never playing play. basketball. Like, why um, not? I don't hear what you're talking about, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. So I sent you a clip earlier about that touching. Yeah. Uh, like I told you, yeah. You said your coach looked into it? Yeah, well, yeah, we wrote a, we wrote, uh, read a book in college. What was the book? I forgot the name of the book. Uh... Who was in it? Was it was it Steve Nash? Was it about the Suns? It was something about the Suns, I think. It was about the Suns, but um, that, yeah, I'm gonna give them for context. For context, I forgot the name of the joint. I sent I sent the real to Austin and I sent the Deuce as well. But basically, the real said that they took a, a survey for an entire season of the NBA of how much players touched each other, not in no other way. <laughs> <laughs> Not in no no Diddy way. No Diddy. <laughs> you feel me? Not that type of touch, but just like dapping each other up and like just in a a positive way, led to them winning more games. Yep. That's very interesting. Yep. And you say y'all read a book on that? I, yeah, I think we read a book on it in college, and our, our coach said something about that, and and that's what made us start just dapping up for no reason, bro. Go be thinking about it. Ain't you know what happened? We went on a seventeen and one mm. start the season just because of that little stuff. I, I think about it in uh, when we doing the warm ups and every time we come back and we all dapping each other up and all that. And I think about that because I'm like, really, at the end of the day, we're all just passing on energy. Yeah. So the more energy we can collect together by transforming, like passing that on by each time, okay, you did something good. I'm gonna come pass that energy. To even you. anything, even you do something like. And that's subconscious. It's crazy that you sent me that because it's so subconscious in my mind now. Uh -huh. So now, every time I do it, I think the, thinking about the, it. The coach, my uh -huh. coach. Now he had us doing it, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make sure. I go and grab. Yes, yeah. okay. I make sure. And you're gonna, you're probably gonna see it now because I'm talking. But like, it's funny that you brought it up because subconsciously I was already thinking that make sure you dap everybody up. Like, don't miss a dap. Right. That's mm -hmm. always in my mind. Mm -hmm. Don't miss a dap, dap. Even if you, I don't care. You do turn over the ball. Good job, bro. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah. just. I say yeah. We good. Like mm, that's just crazy. That's that you crazy. Send me that, cause that's that's always on my mind. Right. Every pregame, dap everybody up. The more you interact and touch yep. your teammates, the, leads to more winning. More wins, cause it's positive. Passing on that energy. That positive energy. That positive energy, like you say, even if you... Even if you mess up. Even if you mess up, all the positive energy from everybody. Because as soon as you have that bad bond, you're just like, all right, man. You kind of see it too, like in the games, when you see two teammates arguing with each other, you be like, oh yeah, we got we them. Got them. <laughs> we got them. Team already. We got them. They bickered amongst each other. We got them. It's over with. You really don't have no time in any game to really exude negative energy, especially towards your teammate. No. Because you got too much going up against you, you, you really can't. You can't fight amongst each other when you fighting against maybe the refs, refs of that game, you know. You on the road, fans, team, right, team, you know what I mean? All these type of stuff, you really don't have no time. And that's one thing I did commend Deuce on game two, I was tight. How we let them come back again? Yeah. How we scored three points again? Like three points, what are you talking about? And he was just like, just don't lose the positive mm -hmm. energy. He kept saying that. He said that to me because I was on the bench, like, bro. <laughs> like, I'm in the Jesse third quarter. The next, I'm like, Jesse we can't, positive. we can't score. I'm just like, yo, why am I still on the bench? Just be positive. Dude, like, I, know, I know, I know, bro. I know. Just be positive. Just, just be, be positive. positive, bro. Just be positive. That goes a long way. It's just by him telling me that. That's what I'm saying. 
just to have that person in your ear mm -hmm. on your team constantly reminding you, hey, just be positive. Yep. Hey, just be positive. Yep. That's that way, like I said, we're talking with Jerry, he's like, oh, eight and five. I'm like, hey, eight and five, let the nine in a row. Yeah. You and he wasn't even eight and five, that's, he was going way past that. He just trying to climb down. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what he's doing. He, throw, he really throwing a shot. He's throwing a shot at him like, you're only good enough to average eight points and five rebounds. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> and that's definitely not deuce. That's not deuce. Not his game at all. His game is is on the twenty point average side. Easily, easily. If he had his own team, he feed him. They bro, don't realize push shot, that, man. Made. That push shot. His mid range is cash. Yeah, cash. And even the, the post game turnaround, he be doing. He, he be doing. He got, he, he got he some just, bag he, down there. He, he really sweet. do. And I be like, you really don't understand how good. Deuce is in the post. Yeah, his touch is crazy. His touch around the basket, that catch, push shot is really crazy. Maybe. And you just, he just haven't, it's been a weird season. It's been a weird season where he really hasn't been able to, like, really show what he can Be do. himself all the way. Yeah. And, like you say, on most teams, you're going to get 30, 35 minutes a game. You're going to yeah. shoot the ball 20 times. They're going to come through you every single time. This team is more system oriented. Yeah, more This system. isn't like the other team, Los Angeles, where you're gonna play 40 yeah. and you're gonna get up just mad shots and you're gonna play all day. Like right. normal Latin basketball. That's why I say this team is way more system oriented. We're gonna move, even I just take a step back and say, okay, I'm not gonna just go one on one every single time because we just got so many players. Right. So many it's pieces. better to run a system. It is. It, with who we got, our personal. It's just better to run a system when you got the group of guys that we got because it just makes the offense flow mm -hmm. a lot smoother. Definitely way more smoother. But anyways, moving on from that's why I talked about the, the touch thing. I, I found that was dope. Anyway, moving on, man. The finals is here. Who you got for the finals? Mavs or Southern? You, Southern, you say Southern fan, but you got. So, you got to bring a special little NBA in the NBA you know, season. I'm gonna always rock with, you know, my squad. I'm always go Celtics. It's it's our year because you know, all the losing and all the losing. Chris Stapps and Porzingis just went Cooping. crazy in the first game. All the losing, you know, in the past we've been a couple of, you know, a couple finals in the past past year or so. We lost to the uh, Warriors. Lost to the Warriors, lost uh well we lost in the Eastern Conference to the Cavs. Um, uh-huh. Um and we lost to somebody else in the nah. We lost somebody else in the finals though. That was the Warriors. Warriors. That was the Warriors. Warriors though. It was somebody else. Nah, nah. I nah, nah, was a Celtics fan back in like that was that was just when they was losing LeBron then. Yeah, yeah. like oh wait, they's always losing LeBron. When, he, like when it was oh wait Celtics, I was a die hard. Oh. Celtics fan. Paul Pierce. Yeah, Paul Pierce, all of them, they was like that. Paul Pierce is my favorite player. Ray Allen was my favorite player at that time. I'm all midi. And I was midi, some of the three. Only three ball, but I didn't elevate. I was shooting <laughs> the tap. If you know me, you know I was We can really, really mimic that, that uh, team. For real, for real. For real, for real. For this real, just got to get a little bit more dominant on defense like KG. Yeah. But he and got that post work. Right. Like KG, that that touch, I mean, they sleeping on that push that shot. That push shot, that push shot, and they really sleep on the midi because he he'll catch it and stare you down and, and shoot it and, and shoot hit it. And, and nothing but cash straight <laughs> in that and wow. hit. I That's one thing I'm, I'm when you get that midi, that he gonna knock that bit down. That midi going in. And the thing is, even in the post, huh, fadeaways. Hush. They don't be thinking he finna shoot the ball. I'm yeah. like, why don't y'all put? They just give him so much so space much to space. just catch. He don't even gotta put the ball. <laughs> he don't have to put it down. He just and catch. rips through and get the get, no shoot. Yeah, just easy. I be like, why well, don't get no wide open shots like that? I be getting mad. How I don't get no open they shots. Know. They already know. Lauren Lewis. So let's put it on the ground. Double team. One behind the back. They coming. One, two, double right team. here. Pass that joint. Double team. Uh -huh. <laughs> that next run, I don't think next run they'll do that. Nah, though. I don't think they, because they don't have the personnel. They're not going to do that. They're not going to have the personnel. When they struggle, they start to put Franco on me. 
That is For some crazy. reason, to them, that makes sense. Because he's small, lower to the ground. He can. That's what they think. Get under you, but that don't make no sense. Because I just turn Post and up and shoot off the glass. <laughs> that don't make no sense. I don't. They was trying anything. But they were trying anything, but it's all good. We're gonna go to. Uh, he had another quote. Jose Colorado, you're getting a lot of love today. Shout you out. And I'm gonna shout out to Sean. Matthews. It's another guy on. Which that? That's the old dude with the glasses. He in your, yeah, exactly. Sean Matthews. That that's the guy with right? the glasses. Uh, the black dude. The black dude. Yeah. He's a coach in Germany or something like that. Yeah, he's like a coach. He yeah, doesn't have a podcast. Yeah, he like funny uh, IG like like the reels like. At the end of the day, yeah. you still gotta entertain the people. You gotta find a way to draw them in so they. Can that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He be exactly doing the, <laughs> the little clips with yeah. him drinking the voiceovers. Shout you out too, bro. Cause last time. I did hold it Colorado and he posted it and I didn't do him. He's like, hey, 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 I'm out here trying to help too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he is, he is. I rock with him. Sean Matthews, y'all go check rich. him out. But Jose, Jose Colorado said, if you're having a shooting slump in college, you're probably likely to get benched. If you have a shooting slump overseas, you're probably likely to get cut. Sent home, man. To the crib. It's a different type of pressure. Way different. Across those waters. Way different. That's what he's talking about by putting in the reps. Reps build confidence. Yes. Tell everybody. Reps that. build confidence. And that's what one thing that I know I go back a lot and talk about the coach but from before. But we had this conversation before because he was like, oh, I got to build the confidence of, of the other players and make them feel good. They didn't put in the reps. I said, <laughs> um, your confidence comes from the reps that you put in yes. in the gym. It doesn't come yes. from when you get in the game. No. No. So, when you take, I'm sorry, but at times when you're taking me out, I'm like, bro, I'm playing 27 minutes a game in Chile. That's, that's crazy. That don't even make sense because you're trying to find, you can't find the rhythm to make sure I get in my rhythm because you want to sacrifice because I'm good enough. That's stupid. I hate that. Yeah, that's stupid. You're so good, I ain't got to worry about you, so I'm not going to play you. I want somebody else to catch it. What do you, what, what I work hard this for? Right. right. This is right. my word. Right. I even had, I had a coach in Estonia say, tell me good feeling. What does that mean? He wanted good feeling for the team. So we were 13-1. Uh, <laughs> he said it in the, in the accent. I said it in the accent. He stuck in that bread. never going to leave. <laughs> That man told me, that good man feeling. told me we need good feeling. Good he feeling. Said, he says, not about win. He said, he it's looked at about, me straight in my face and said, it's not about win. Bro, it's that's about what good, he said. It's about good feeling. He, huh? What? I'm here to win. That's what, he's, that's what he told me. I got bonuses if I win. So I'm here to win. He told me he straight said, up. It doesn't, he said, what? I said, I came here to do a job. He said, Okay, I understand you come here to do the job. I said, my job is to come here and to win games. Win. He said, yeah, but it's the type of way we win. It has to be with a good, good feeling. feeling. Good feeling. These no. coaches are... No. They're off their rockers, man. It's about winning. It's about winning. I don't care. Not don't about care. no good feeling. It's bro. about winning. That's all I care about is winning. They bring you here to win. <laughs> Win and and let's and let's break it down for the viewers at home. You guys have to realize we play for our livelihood. At this point, it is not just for the love of basketball. It's not for the love. It of basketball. is for our livelihood. We get paid. Bills have to be. They, <laughs> it's, it's, it's life. So when these coaches are talking about good feeling and we lose a game, you messing with my money. You messing with my money. You messing with my money, and now I'm mad. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.